Hello, welcome back everybody. Got another short ride for you, number 37. Uh, this one's a part two. And uh, and if you're on YouTube and you haven't seen number 36, uh, I suggest you go back and take a look at that one before you watch this one because this follows up to that one and uh, make more sense to you. Uh, and the uh, last one was really good. Uh, it was, uh, these came from 1983. And the uh, last one, uh, obviously, uh, it had uh, Stomper training, uh, Austin Idol. And uh, we're going to have a little bit. Uh, this one comes from a personality profile from the show that was one week after the one that uh, the last one came out of. And uh, it has, uh, it's going to have uh, another workout. Uh, and uh, it's going to have, it's going to have a piece, just a real short piece of a world championship match with Austin Idol against Ric Flair. And uh, you're going to see Austin Idol uh, beat Flair for the world championship. He's going to get the belt in his hand. I think what happens is, I'm, I've noticed from when I watch this, is there's two referees. There's a second referee. And uh, maybe that title gets gets a change, uh, gets switched back, and it gets put in uh, Flair's hands before he leaves. But uh, if you pay attention, it's a building that's crammed full of people, and it's you hear the pop. It's, it's a really good piece of video and that is followed uh, by uh, by a, a segment that uh, that's just as good basically uh, and maybe even better it's uh, with Buddy Rogers who uh, wow one of the greatest NWA champions of all time uh, and he was also a World Wrestling Federation champion world champion uh, the only guy to ever do that hold both those belts a tremendous wrestler, a great, great wrestler. I got to see him wrestle in several different matches when I was a kid. I was so impressed with this guy, he is amazing. And he happened to be a friend of uh, Austin Idol and he had uh, trained Idol to do the figure four. It has a little piece with him and Gordon Sully from the Florida television studio. Uh, that's gonna be uh, just a short piece, but uh, he uh, wishes Idol luck in his world championship match. So Idol has won the championship, the tournament, and now he's in it for another match with Flair. Uh, their training session, uh, this is the second training session, and uh, everything appears to be headed for a tremendous world championship match. Uh, but then there's something going to happen. And uh, wow, <laughs> nobody expected it. So believe me, uh, not only those people in the studio, but I'm sure nobody at home. And uh, rather than me tell it, let's take a look at it. High praise indeed from one of the living legends in professional wrestling, former NWA and WWWF champion, Nature Boy Buddy Rogers. And again, Austin, thank you and thank you, Stomper, for allowing us into your training regimen and the best of luck to you. Austin, you know, earlier this, w uh, this week, uh, in fact, uh, this morning, I had a chance, I got a phone call from the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Ric Flair. And last week we had the comments of Flair and he was irate about having to meet you again in the squared circle for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, if you remember last week's comments, he was very upset about the situation. However, today he was uh, more of an arrogant Flair that uh, I've, I've heard in the past. And uh, that is a good way to describe the man, arrogant. And, and the thing he keyed on on the phone conversation is something that, uh, that, that I just uh, uh, thought would pass along to you. And the fact was that uh, he has found a cure for idle mania. You have it? I don't know exactly what he was referring to. Well, uh, you know, knowing Ric Flair as well as I do, I guess anybody else does. You know, we all know Ric Flair is a real flamboyant individual. And I would imagine yes, by indeed. him saying that... Uh, He's found a cure for idolomania is probably some uh, type of uh, psychological warfare. But Charlie, believe you me, and Rick, man, I have trained religiously for this uh, this match right now, and Rick Flair is not going to psych me out, and I don't care what he says, uh, nothing's going to psych me out. And as far as what he meant, as far as uh, he has a cure for idolomania, I don't know what he meant. Well, I know exactly what he meant. The Mongolian stomper uh, uh, attacking Austin Idol from behind. Oh, oh Jesus. Idol uh, uh, stomper just slamming Austin Idol with a chair. Uh, the chair. Uh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Get, get some money out here, man. Let's go into the 
Boston. Come here. Come here. Get your body out of this Man. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Well, man, that was pretty. That was a pretty amazing little piece right there. Uh, wow. Uh, and I'll end up uh, wearing a mask uh, that covered a part of his face. Uh, he didn't end up wrestling. For, he missed the world championship match. Obviously, he wasn't able to take the world championship shot. And it went to uh, Jerry Stubbs and Mr. Olympia. They ended up getting that shot. But, uh, I uh, was was uh, off for about uh, more than a month, and uh, you know wore a mask uh, quite a bit to protect his nose and face. And uh, well, nasty little deal, nasty little deal. But uh, you know, and, and most unusual to see the Stomper talk. I mean, fans that have never seen that. Uh, it, it only happened one one or two times. Uh, he had just turned into a baby face, and uh, Ric Flair paid him off and. Uh, now he's he's gone the opposite direction. So, uh, you know, great piece. Uh, thank you all so much for coming on board with us. I hope you've enjoyed these. I think this is two back-to-back -back great southeastern uh, uh, so short rides. And uh, and if you want the long ride, you want to see the whole thing. You want to see all these TVs: uh, southeastern TVs, Gulf Coast TVs, Continental TVs, uh, USA TVs, uh, all the things that are on the streaming channel. It's at ClassicContinentalWrestling.com. It's only $4.99 a month, uh, $39.99 for, for an entire year. And pay up front, and then they obviously save some money doing that. And uh, I just uh, thank everybody for coming along with us, and I hope you've enjoyed this one. And uh, we're going to bring you another one.